Hey, this is Nizuru here, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, meet up with Jackie. I don't think it's tracking it, because I'm, I'm not gonna go with the Militech route. So, let's go ahead and meet up with Jackie here. Too far now. Oh, my vehicle's not on fire anymore. That's good. Probably just had to beat a mission. Other times, it's definitely my fault. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just can't drive. I'll admit that. Ah, there you are. Alright, let's see what's going on with uh, our boy Jackie here. Let me hear what you squared away. Then an arch? Oh, damn. What a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Dorset job dividend. Hmm. Then I could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. I'd swap out that tailpipe if I were you. Really? Why? It's got a mean growl that the chicas just love. What that growl does is tell people a mile out that Jackie's rumbling their way. I'd tinker with the fuel injection too, upload a new map, and slap on some thermal tape till you cobble together enough eddies to get that exhaust modded. Uh huh. t book show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date and fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Been waiting long? Mi madre always said patience pays off, so... <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right. The strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I'm certainly not paying them, so we're probably gonna get into a brawl. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. That's supposed to be it right here. <sighs> Don't know you. 
Just open the fucking door. Yeah? You make a fucking appointment? Cause I don't see nothing in my book. Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Oh, well. Uh, cozy place. Could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. So I think I'm the, at least for the main parts of the story because I, I get a lot of merchandise just from doing a lot of the gigs and everything else so I'm probably just gonna just blow straight through the uh, story parts don't look for anything just fight my way through get things done nice and clean. Here to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. He will deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch, planet. ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well... All right. Come on. Got lighten up. Take a hit. What is it? A skeef. Shit kicks you in the ass. It's a fucking rush, man. Gotta feel it for yourself. Come on, give it a whirl. Thanks, I'm good. Whatever you say, straight-edged princess. Here we go. The flathead. Model MT-0-D12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it? Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lift in access locks using our soft. What's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pin 
down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Huh. Raven's not the dedicated control unit for a flathead. Ha! Of course not. Militech controllers auto-link to Militech systems. I mean, you wouldn't want them tracking their stolen tech back to your hands. Yeah, Raven's our baby. Got improved neural sync and no fucking pesky tracing. You ask me, we gotta sell that shit. Yep, we'll take it. Three, sure, yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. Uh, I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. Hey, you want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Seems you already got the eddies for it. You ought to offer us a discount. Big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? Maybe <laughs> yeah, dead? Me a rat! You hear? Wait, 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 Why do I have a weapon in my hand? Why? That that doesn't even make any sense. I'm not even holding anything. It just randomly throw one in my hands. Alright, give me a second. Take all this stuff out of this guy and pick his body up. Because I know I can tank it. Don't worry, we'll be good. Merda. Cut off. Grab the gear. Bottom control side. Quick! I will, however, pick up all of the uh, the shinies from the enemies. So let's keep going. Got the set, bot and controller. Then let's go. Quicker the better. Let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. I am noticing the it's a, it's a little bit laggy right now. Production line. Plus, I thought you loved me. There's no other way. Okay. Going in. Okay. Going in here, right? Ah, there's a button. Oh, good. Let's move it. Let's go. You got your straight steamroll through there. Took over that camera. Look. Damn. Oh, 
Where are the guys still? Who's ready to party? Let's go. So. Oh really? I didn't notice you. Alright, let's keep moving. Accomplished. No begging, no debt, no corporal strings attached, and the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Tough to argue. Yeah, because I'm right. Always. Nice of you to notice. Love this town. The city of endless opportunity. 
and brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bull, stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street will talk. The street will remember. It's a win -win. You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. Hold on, way. What now, Jack? What now? Now I go back. Find Misty. Do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Risks come with the job, Jack. <sighs> Ducked in time to avoid death's sweeping sight again. Only right to celebrate. Even though we get to do that lots. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Hey, Loeb. Are you good? <laughs> How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits at you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You used the Corpo woman? Did it without Militech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Mr. B. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. B. All right, so we got that squared off. Level again, got me another attribute and perk. Nice, nice. All right, so what do I want to put this? I'm definitely going to be... Uh, <laughs> when I restart, uh, at least from the beginning, I should have just restarted the, the game again. Because there was like lag straight from the beginning. So next time I am uh, definitely going to do that. Uh, let's see. I got everything here at 7, which is good. That'll be good for anything uh, dialogue-wise. Uh, athletics just... I, I might just have to take a, like one of those days where I'm just punching a wall for the longest period of time just to level athletics up. Okay, Street Brawler. Reduce the stamina cost. Uh, I don't want to reduce the stamina cost just for the fact that it takes a horrendous long time to level athletics and you need to run down your stamina just to unlock it. Um, I don't I don't really block, I'm going to admit that. I just go in full swinging. Um, I don't really use strong attacks. I've been doing just fine just doing a regular punching. Um, not going to use Annihilation. Haven't had a real need for this one. Definitely not going to be increasing my stamina. Really haven't had an issue with fall damage. So I don't want to waste a uh, point in that. So I'm pretty cleared off on body for now. I think, uh, let's see, the next things I would want to focus on would be, yeah, increasing melee damage. So that's at nine, so I need two more points. Two more points for that. What else do I get at nine? Reduces the amount of stamina consumed when blocking. Yeah, I would never use that. I I would get two points and basically only be getting an increase for melee damage. What would I get over here? So one more up. Increased damage with blunt weapons against enemies affected by stun by 50%. Okay, that can go hand in hand with this one, so that would that would be nice to actually go up and get this. Um, that would be for when I'm coming going against bosses. Just the stamina cost of blocking, wouldn't use it. Increase damage with blunt weapons by one percent for every one percent. Oh, nice. Yeah, payback. Definitely gonna be getting that one. Uh, is there anything else? So it looks like the two I'd be going for is. Opportunity strike. 
opportunity strike and payback. These two in combination is what I'd be going for. That's for Brawler, so I have something to go with uh, concerning that. This, huh. I really haven't been crafting. I probably should craft just to level this a bit more, just to get more points. Because even if I'm not using it um, for crafting per se, or I'm not using some of it in engineering, I can still use it for the other trees that I'm using more. So I'm definitely going to take a little bit of time to jump in more into those as well. So disassembly items grants a 5% chance of gaining free component. Okay, so I would want to actually level these two up as well. Because I can get last year to craft rare items. And that one as well. So um Reduces damage taken from explosions. That'd actually be a good one. Looting drones and mechs for more parts. That's a good one as well. So there are points that I would use in tech. But I think the other point, I'm really leaning more towards body right now. But I want to check out the other ones. Um, I mean, let's see. Increases damage from headshots fired from outside combat. So no. Not using knives. Immunity to poison would actually be nice at some point. So once I level this up a bit more, I could go with uh, using immunity to poison. Um, is there anything else? Upon entering combat, that might actually be pretty nice right there. Not going to be using a knife. Protection time is increased by 20%. Can be detected underwater. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm really not using stealth all too much. Uh, some of these would be useful for me to use in just open combat, so I'll take some of those. But mostly, I'm mostly going to be using cold blood, most definitely. Uh, let's see. After defeating an enemy, gain cold blood for 10 seconds and increase movement speed. Increases duration of cold blood. Increases all resistances. Reduces quick hacks, cooldown 23% per stack of cool blood. So, if we're going to level this up two more times, increases health regeneration inside and outside of combat by 50% per stack. Of, yeah, that would be nice. So survival wise, definitely cool. Um, intelligence. I have been actually getting quite a bit from hacking. So automatically highlights nearby access points. That might actually be, what's this one? Upgrades oh, Damon, increases the amount of Euro dollars. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one because I have been hacking a lot of those to get the money, so I'll go with that one next. But I'm definitely going to want to increase uh, body. So let's go ahead and up that. All right, it's going to the map. I'm thinking uh, since the, the big job is next, I'm going to go ahead and do the next portion of the recording for... Uh, doing some more of these side jobs here so I'm gonna knock out uh, a lot of these side jobs that are still around the area just to clear them out before I get to the main part of the game uh, or at least this section of it because I think this section is still on lockdown until I do that one big mission so it'd probably be good to go ahead and level up a bit more doing the side job. So I'm going to go ahead and knock all, knock all the side jobs out of the way and be good to go. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and do a little bit of reading. Of course, uh, if you don't want to stick around for this portion, just go ahead and uh, just skip to the next video if it is up. Alright, let's see. Archive conversation between Gottfried, Person, and Lenny Nero. Do what you want. Neuro, I will. I quit. 
one more time do what you want oh i think this is from uh this one of the other missions i picked up i need something a bit more okay here we go who is doc paradox who's hiding behind the distorted mask unsurprisingly doc paradox won't say after all he's breaking the law he has to protect his identity if he revealed even the tiniest sliver about himself Netwatch agents would be at his door in less than a minute. But think about it. Think. What kind of person could successfully hide from the world's most powerful corporations for years? Who could hack into the encrypted TV channels? Who could disclose highly classified corporate secrets? The answer's obvious. Doc Paradox is one of them. He's a puppet controlled by establishment. To what end? Maybe that is how corporations funnel our, our, our anger and frustration in a safe and controlled manner through a rebel who will never go so far as to issue a call to arms. Maybe he's being used to reveal facts that hurt the competition. Or maybe he's just a branding opportunity. In a month or two, Avante could put out a new Doc Paradox line for us to wear our disapproval. Only time will tell, but for Christ's sake, don't listen to a word of this phony's mouth. I wonder, like, if I heard anything about Dr. Paradox on one of the TVs. I'm, I'm guessing at some point I will. Alright, check out Con. Okay. Undoing the Fall of the First Net. Chapter 1, The Apocalypse. His name was Raj Bartmoss. Everyone knows who destroyed the First Net. The real question is why. Netwatch branded him a criminal and outlaw. The media called him a madman. Is either label correct? You be the judge. Below was a previously unpublished letter from Bart Moss, put out just before the release of Rabbids. Why has this document only now just emerged? Well, someone out there did not want you. My dear readers, to ever lay eyes on it. All the more reason to take a deep dive into information available to us, Maria Jimenez. The first net was supposed to save us. It would serve as a platform for those without a voice. It would offer unlimited knowledge for those who hungered for it. It would bring a fractured humanity closer together than ever before in our history. But these hopes were hollow, false. The net spread its tendrils around the globe faster than anyone could have predicted, before anyone could even consider the full range of consequences. This information superhighway turned out to be our path straight down. We were robbed of our privacy, Pride of our free will, stripped of our dignity. It was supposed to save us, but now even the net itself cannot be saved. It was molded by the core, with sharp edge spikes and traps at every corner. Thinking the net is a stream of water that flows gently into our minds, before freezing, swelling, and destroying us from the inside out. But remember, this is about ice. As hard as it may be, it's surprisingly brittle. One well placed strike and it shatters into a million tiny pieces. Watch out today, and you'll see just what I mean. All right, so I'm going to stick to just uh, two of these readings for now. Uh, we're going to end it here, and when we get back, we're going to jump on some of the side jobs. I may do a bit of the uh, uh, the, the crime watches, because I do see the question box, so that might mean there's an extra item to get. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to leave this here, and when we get back, uh, we're going to jump into the remainder of the side jobs in this area. Till then.